We're back, and we kick off this week's Sprint Car Limited 90 at 9 series by discussing ticket prices and how they relate to track costs and other sports. Before we talk money, don't forget to click the subscribe button on the YouTube channel and also check out our daily exclusive content at www.sprintcarlimited.com. A lot has been made of High Limit Racing charging fans $40 and $45 for its events, regardless of the purse. The World of Outlaws and Lincoln Speedway joined the discussion this week, not because they wanted to, when ticket prices were released for the upcoming Gettysburg Clash and fans found out what it would cost them on race day. I get the irritation here. People are used to $25 and $30 for these special shows. Over the years, it's grown. And now that things cost more in everyday life, these ticket prices aren't sitting well with fans. A couple of things to think about. First, this is trickle-down economics, and not in a good way. Drivers and teams wanted higher purses to make the bottom line look better, and they've gotten them. Tracks have incurred higher costs, things like insurance, food, fuel, etc. Add them both together, and a good portion of those extra expenses are going to be passed down to fans to make ends meet. I'm not taking a side here. This is economics 101, and someone is always going to come out on the short end. But there is more to consider. This is still one of the cheapest forms of entertainment that you can get. Forget the professional stick and ball sports for a minute. AMA Supercross in Philadelphia last week carried a $70 price tag for one ticket. A few weeks ago, I took my daughter to the movies, and all in, it cost more than going to a local dirt track. You have concerts, a meal out with the family. The list of things that cost more than a high-profile sprint car race is still pretty long. And whether you want to believe it or not, we've had it good with ticket prices for a long time. The good news is that tracks and series sometimes offer deals if you purchase tickets before race day. My advice, take them. As for the increase in prices, I don't know the threshold of what this sport can hold. Only the future and how this sport evolves is going to determine that. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned.